This channel is supported by my online fishing courses, and you can learn more and get significant discounts at saltstrong.com skinner. I'll have links to all of the gear in the video description, and if you like this video, please hit the like button, and if you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe. Okay, out with the regular crew here, um, Rick on Rick's boat with uh, Cliff and Doc, and this, for me, is the most educational trip of the season so far. Um, I'm going to do a test. I'm going to compare. Uh, I'm not going to use any gulp. I'm going to use a couple of gulp alternatives. Please keep in mind, this is one person in one place on one trip, and your results may vary. And I've toyed with these alternatives and bits and pieces, but you know what? This is the way I felt it had to be done. I needed, and any experiment needs controls. These guys, they're my controls. Um, these are the regular guys I fish with. They're going to do what we always do. The only difference is I won't have gulp on. They will, and uh, we're going to see what happens. One of the things I'll be fishing with are these plug bait grubs. They're very similar in size and profile to the gulp grubs that I normally use. And these are... Uh, they come in a jar with scent. Um, the one thing you need to be careful about is the scent is kind of oily and, and slippery, so you see I immediately grabbed a rag and got it out there. Um, it really puts out quite a scent trail if you uh, drop some of this scent into the water. And I'll show that later when I'm uh, hanging a grub over the water. You'll be able to see like oil droplets on top. Um, so it puts out quite a scent trail. And um, it's, the stuff really doesn't wash off. I, I thought it did in the beginning, but I happened to have a grub that I had used and left in my garage and like a month later came back and it, it looked, you know, like it was clean and didn't feel oily. But I gave it a smell and you could definitely smell that scent. So, um, yep, the, it, it's scented, puts out a good trail and uh, definitely worth a shot. And I'll try some Z-Mans. So here we go. Instead of blue fuse, they make fusillator. Fusillator. Oh, yeah, see, oh. very yeah, 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 yeah. similar looking grubs. And what company is that? Oh, Z-Man. So it's very good. Yeah. So that's one of the things I'm going to try. Yeah, so you heard me say very good. Yeah, well, down in Florida, this stuff rules. And uh, I would use this to pitch up underneath the mangroves for snook and... Yeah, let me show you that. It's a uh, very effective lure, skips beautifully, great stuff. Yeah, just a quick look at what a 5-inch Z-Man can do in Florida. A real easy lure to skip underneath those mangroves with a snook R. Yes, I did great in Florida on the Snook, Reds, and Speckled Trout with the Z-Man. No matter what happens, as long as some fish are caught on the boat, I'm going to publish this. A couple of months ago, I posted a video of catching fluke in Long Island Sound with the smaller uh, Z-Man grubs, but this is the first real uh, attempt with the Dormat Zs, the big ones. Now the big advantage of either of these baits over the gulp is that these are very durable. There's no way you're tearing these off uh, the way that you do with the gulp. But we'll see how they fish. So the last couple of weeks of fishing, uh, white had been my best color. So I'm going to be going with the white here. Now watch as I hold that over the water. You can see the like little slick <laughs> on top of the water from the scent going in. So um, yeah, very heavily scented. Oh, whoa! Okay, I'm, I'm gonna get the net. No, you got a nice fish. That's a fish. That's a big fish. And this trip will cause me to make a slight change in the way I do things, and uh, we'll get to that at the end. I'm up, Doc. I want to net this guy. We'll see what's gonna happen. Yeah. Thank you. Whoa. Real careful with this, with this net. The webbing. This, this guy's really taking some runs. I know, I know, I know. Oh, 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 oh. Whoa, Whoa, I didn't man. realize it was so far away. What the? Wow. All right. Hope you got that on video with that net job. Nice going, Rick. All right. Nice going. Nice. 
That's because I'm using gold. Oh, they're going to ride me the entire trip about doing this. Okay, the Z-Mans um, have Procure scent on them, so I brought along an extra tube so I could make sure um, that I kept these things really charged with that scent. Um, as for the plug bait, what I'm doing at this point in the trip is I'm just exchanging the grubs with new grubs. That's what I'm doing there, is I'll take a grub off when I come up and I'll just put on a new one. I've got plenty there, and uh, this way here I make sure I've got fresh ones, plenty of oil, plenty of scent uh, on everything. And you see his uh, sea bass uh, bleeding out in the bucket there. Um, so yeah, those guys are catching some sea bass. I so far have not caught any of those. We've got some wind against current going on there, so we're using the drift sock to knock out that wind component a little bit. Ha. Cliff, he's in. Come on, Cliff, please catch a fluke. What do you got there, Cliff? Yeah, oh, definitely. Look at this, all right, good. Pound it. Do you need a net, Cliff? Yeah. All right, so all three of them hooked up uh, on this drift, and, and Doc dropped his fish. But uh, yeah, the bite's definitely picking up. All right, with these guys catching, uh, I, I've changed up the color on the Z-Man. I'm making sure I get some of that Procure. It's a shrimp flavor Procure on there. And as for the teaser with the plug bait, that is actually submerged in the jar. Here it comes. It's going to come out of that jar of plug bait. Uh, I'm just dunking that whole thing into there. And yeah, you can see that oil dropping into the water again. So everything is very charged with scent. I'll be the judge of <laughs> they're easy to remember when you're dead. <laughs> Hold it up, Doc. All right, so another fluke. All right. Okay, how many flukes did you catch today, John? Well, that's the point. We've got one, two, three, four, five, zero. And they haven't had any like, problems with them like they did. Look, 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 look. Oh. Yeah, there's a fluke. Way to go, Cliff. Right, I'm, I'll come up with the net. I'm gonna crank up a little bit off the off the bottom. You gotta feed Rick, so come on, don't be. We got to feed Rick, he said. No, love. I'm just gonna get this so I can feed. <laughs> na, 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 na. The oh, color's all screwed up. Oh, that's a beautiful sea bass. Do you need me to net that? Why not? That, that's good. That is so nice. Damn it, though. He's still going to bust Don, thank you very much. Oh, yeah, that's definitely. I always overrate him. Oh, no, that looks good. That's a good fish. Oh, that's a nice one. I'm not catching anything. I better not miss the fish with the net. No, mess up that net. No, I'm we, trying. Let's say that we got this one. You know, they usually come up and they come oh, closer. Oh, this is good. Wow, yeah. it's a big fish. It's yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, I can see. No, no, no. Suck it, Kohut. Right, he's Excuse coming me. up. All right. Excuse my it's language. Let's get serious That's here. Fish. That's good fish. All right, turn them around. Bring them in. Oh, That's it. Down. Keep them coming. Keep them. Keep Get coming. The there you go. Oh. There you go. Nice there you one. go, Cliffy. Yeah, there we go. There Cliffy. you go, Cliffy. That could be nice. Uh, that's a that's a DD. No, it's not. No, I, that's eight. I don't think so. Uh, it, it's perfect. gonna be. Oh. Uh, it's close. That could be I could add nineteen. No, no, no. That could be a nine. Nine plus. Yeah, I don't think he's ten. Let me see. But I think he's. 
He's eight all day. Oh, he's, oh, beyond, he's, eight. Eight. he's beyond eight. He's beyond eight. eight. He's beyond you eight. know what? Yeah, that this is, is gonna be uh, close. That's uh, that's close to ten. He's thick. He's close to ten. Yeah, let me get the phone. So it's nine yeah, I would say nine and a half. Yeah. Nine and a half. Bring, wow. bring him in the back and let it go. Slice him up. No, we, we gotta let him go. All right, another color change here on the Z-Man, making sure I've got plenty of scent on that. And the plug bait grub with the teaser is soaking in the plug bait container. Uh oh. But you know, oh, I'll, no. I'll tell you how this happened. I, I went to reel it in and he followed it up off the bottom. Uh, it's definitely a fluke, but he must have followed it some distance. He's not going to be big, but it could be a keeper. You know, he's, he's not going to be... I'm gonna, he's a swinger. Yeah, it's a definitely a keeper. Oh, he's not hooked very well either. He's, he's coming in. Okay, and the winner was Z-Man. Hi, Doc, how many keepers you got? <laughs> and you know what? Look for my name. <laughs> he's been on my case all trip about not catching anything. I'm, I'm so proud of myself. That's great. Now, if I can just get the Z-Man out of his, if I can just get the Z-Man out of his mouth. And this shows why they can't tear it off. It's, it stretches really well. That's not a problem for flukes. They eat the whole thing in one shot. Just stay until I catch a keeper. So he hit that several. I was reeling up, and I couldn't believe how high up off the bottom he hit. That's a fluke. Sure, sure looks like a fluke there. That's a fluke, yeah. yeah. A fluke. Nice one. Oh, yeah, nice one. Let's swing him over. Oh, thank God. Go. Thank the good Lord. Thank the good Lord. Okay, take us to the fish. Oh, oh, hang on. That's a fish. That's not a fish. We wish it was that. A... How about this? Let the drag loose. What is it? Whatever it is, it's coming up. Oh, shit. That's a fish. Holy shit. That's a fish. All right, scare. It's whatever it is. All right, make sure you're very kind Well, this is going to be really interesting. That's a fish, dude. What is that? Is that like That's 15 pounds of I don't know what this would be. He was stuck. Oh my god. And then, yeah, that's a fluke. Yeah. This feels. Alright, I'm just going to want you to. I just don't want the. Okay, I need you to slide up just a little bit just so I don't have the console behind me. That's good. You're fine now. Can I tighten my drag? No, just as long as you. Just do what you're doing. I'm actually nervous to net this. <laughs> Just keep it. That was stuck. Oh, this is a team fluke. Come on, doctor. Oh, very good. Just keep the rod bent. Oh, come on. Very nice. You mean up, right? Yes, keep it bent. Shock absorber. Slow and steady wins the race. Oh yeah, that's everything we hoped it would be. Okay, keep it coming, keep it coming, keep it coming. Nice, Doc. Yeah! Whoa! Yeah! <laughs> right yeah! There. That's ridiculous. Okay, Skinner. Okay, how many fish did Doc catch? Let me tell you something. That's big, man. I thought I was on the bottom. Uh, no, yeah, I know, sure you guys yeah. thought I was on yeah. the bottom. I think you were. That's why I'm bigger than mine, baby. Yeah, no, that's, that's, that's over 10, I think. Here, can you take this? Yeah, I got this, sure. Hang on, I still, I still got a sinker. And I wasn't convinced because One second, let me, I it gave a tad, yeah, yeah, not yeah, a lot. It, 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 it. Right. Sir, 
Excuse me, I'll let it go over the floor. I don't know. I don't know if that's true. Yeah, I don't think he's going to make it. It's basically like, it's like, it's it's smaller than Cliffs. Okay. It's what? Smaller than Cliffs. Yeah, not by much. What, 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 what uh, size? It, it's nine-ish. Yeah, I see that. I still think it's good. It's on the Nexus, so. I know it looks like I'm just running around with the net. <clears throat> you got to understand, it's a six and a half hour trip, so there's been plenty of time. I, I've been fishing hard the whole time, um, but yeah, I'm netting the fish for everybody. <laughs> keeper, right? Yeah, I'll, I'll swing it into you. Ah, that's a little shit. Thing. I think yeah. he's it. I mean, look at this beautiful. <laughs> and the action. And it's color look at this action. Yeah. I mean, look at the action on this Z-Man. I mean, this is the best yeah. action on on anything. Nobody can say gulp is not that good. I mean, look at that. Uh, how slow, how that's beautiful that's undulating. Yeah, no, that's some undulation. Isn't that something? Look at that. Wow. That's some undulation. That's great action, really. It is. And you've got color coordinated. Well, John, I give you credit for sticking with your experiment all day long. Yeah. yeah no, but it wasn't going to show. It wasn't going to prove anything if I quit a couple hours ago before you guys started catching fish. Well, it, it had to go while everybody's fishing. You know, it had. I mean, I have no one else caught, and, and you didn't catch it. Wouldn't prove anything. You know what I mean? Other people have to catch fish. Right. If I had if I had switched off a couple hours ago before that flurry of fish, then nothing is shown. All right. They caught 11 fluke in total between the keepers and the shorts. Uh, they kept six sea bass. Uh, our limit is 15 inches. There were easily as many short sea bass as keepers. So we'll call it um, between the sea bass and the fluke a total of 23 fish for the boat. Of that, I had um, the one keeper fluke, and that was it. I had very, very few bites, uh, maybe two or three bites. Um, they went through collectively between 12 and 15 packs of gulp. Um, so I don't know, $100 worth of gulp, I guess. So look, I know there's fans of those other products. Um, if you have other experiences with them, I would love to hear them. And remember, this is one person in one place on one trip. And definitely there can be um, different results in other places, different conditions, whatever. Okay, my takeaway from this, um, for the last few years, I've been in the habit of recharging my gulp rigs with the gulp juice. So I've got a jar of gulp juice there. That stuff's like been there since last year, so it's kind of old. I keep adding to it. There's all kinds of grubs in there. I just get the rig out, push it in there, make sure it's soaking it up. So this is something I've been doing between drifts, but I can tell you that now I'm going to do it. Every single time that rig comes out of the water, it's going to get pushed down into that gulp juice. And that's what I did on this trip. It was only three days later, almost the same crew. And we had our boat limit of 16 keepers. And out of the 16, I had nine of them. So I really feel as though, um, even more so than I did before, that that recharging is very, very important with the gulp grubs to recharge in the gulp juice. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, certainly you can draw your own conclusions from this. I hope you learned something. And if you like this, please hit the like button. If you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe.